Hello and welcome to Orb King Brick. Today's video is going to be a recreation of one of the many proposals for a wing this orbiter. I just want to start this off by saying sorry for not being able to upload for three, three weeks. I've, I've had real life issues which are still ongoing. This is probably still got me days without uploads. I'm probably sorry about that. Yes. Uh, this video, it's a recreation of a STS uh, lab proposal. And uh, there are various uh, proposals to take a, a spatial orbiter and convert it into a permanent uh, space station. Some will have involved the, ex the external tank being repurposed as a laboratory, eh, and so it will remain attached. But this one, external tank will be jettisoned, and in place the wings we have solar arrays. And this would be the core module of Space Station Freedom. Now another uh, big difference between the proposals is which orbiter would be used. Eh, for this uh, for this video I'm using Columbia. There are tons of proposals who have used uh, Enterprise, which uh, was a mock-up space shuttle that never had a thermal protection system in installed. And well, a key part of these uh, wingless orbiter proposals was that uh, it, the, uh, the orbiter would uh, be stripped of anything needed for re-entry. So with the wings, the thermal protection system, and even some of the uh, forward RCS thrusters. And so this would, so yeah, this would have been the uh, core of space station freedom. I'm not uh, going to recreate that. I don't have the correct mods for that. And the mod I'm using for the uh, Orbiter is a uh, sock, a uh, link in the description. I'm using a uh, Orange's external tank. And a uh, Photon Corp SRBs. And yeah, I'm going to admit it, I used a mech job for the Ascent. This is the only time I'll allow, I will allow myself to use Mechjab because I don't have time to fly a space shuttle. And so we're completing our orbit now. And I, so we'll saw by default it doesn't have uh, this uh, paint job for the orbiter. I'm using, it's either a sock recolored or sock repainted for the uh, wingless orbiter. And deploying the solder arrays, as well as the payload bay. A bit of clipping there, I couldn't do anything about that. These the solder arrays are from Blue Dog Design Bureau. And you can see, once I rotate the orbiter around, the habitation module inside it, because well, the point of these proposals was they'd be able to use the life support systems already on the shuttle while well, not having to deal with the extra weight of the uh, unnecessary re-entry systems. And so, and that also meant they could put a habitation module in the payload bay. Which uh, I did that using stock-like uh, space station parts redux for that uh, top habitation module and a uh, stock science lab. And also there's a, a docking port which it's not uh, on the orbiter uh, docking uh, system that's in the orbiter by default. It's on the habitation module for some reason. I guess it could be they uh, use different docking ports uh, depending on whether they're going to be passive or active. So I guess uh, well, if I can actually uh, find a reason for that I wasn't able to in my research, and uh, please put down in the comments. But now that we've launched our uh, our uh, first uh, module of a space station, let's launch another mission to it. So I'm launching a space shuttle Atlantis, chosen completely at random, with a, a full crew of seven. And by the way, if there's any weird uh, visual artifacts in this, it's because I my editing software, uh, like, uh, it was having some issues, so I had to export the video and then export it again. So that might cause some visual artifacting, uh, sorry. Yeah, mainly we're gonna launch a docking module. In fact, that's the only thing we're launching. Again, using MechJab. 
Well, so if you're going to uh, if you're going to uh, use the uh, sock uh, space shuttle with you, Orange's external tank. And just to keep in mind, you actually need to drain some fuel from the external tank, or uh, mess with the uh, mech jab settings because otherwise mech jab will uh, steer your shuttle into the ground. So we can open up our payload bay. Revealing the uh, docking adapter. I don't, I don't have the mod to have tech 2, which will have allowed me to make this more accurate. And so I'm going to uh, do a burn to finish up my orbit. Probably should have waited to uh, open payload bay until I completed my orbit. And I can now plot some maneuvers to get a rendezvous with the uh, space station. And now, while we're waiting for that maneuver, we may as well uh, get the uh, docking adapter uh, moved to its correct location. And I'm actually going to use the uh, robotic arm for this. This was a uh, long process. And since uh, I don't have any uh, proper uh, robotic arm controller, I just need to uh, manually adjust all of the uh, hinges individually. And also I have to uh, have the uh, traverse, way, tra traverse rate set all the way down, otherwise it would be incredibly shaky. This took a while, so I'm skipping through most of the footage. And uh, there was some quick saving and quick loading during this, because uh, sometimes the uh, docking module will just uh, float away and it won't be able to be recovered. But at this time I was able to uh, get uh, connected and now I need to uh, move it to the uh, docking adapter. Well, to, well, actually flight would be the correct word. Just uh, to the docking port so uh, we can use it to uh, dock to the space station. Which uh, went uh, pretty well. And so I can stow the robotic arm and have one of my crew members uh, do an IVA inspection of the docking module. Everything looks fine. A, a bit transparent through the uh, windows at the back of the cockpit. But I can uh, perform the uh, burn to, uh, to get a rendezvous, of course, with the uh, space station. And it's a pretty normal rendezvous and docking. This video is uh, its longer than I would like it to be, and I had over a hundred minutes of footage when I uh, started editing this, so a bunch of stuff was cut out. Yeah, we can uh, transfer our crew into the uh, space station using the incredible mod uh, Free IVA. Highly recommend it. And then just as a note, I was using, I am using, I was using the mod Kerbalism for this video, as well as a Jurenus Q, so it's a 2.7 time scale solar system. And I just got a Kerbal on, e on IV EVA to uh, check out uh, the outside of the uh, space station, ensure everything is nominal. And now after a pretty uh, short stay, don't really have any science experiments to do or anything. Yeah, we can undock. Also, I kind of accidentally used way more fuel in Atlantis than I planned on doing. I actually transferred some fuel from the space station, which it's not entirely realistic. And I'm now doing my uh, deorbit burn, which uh, I failed to account for the rotation of Kerbin, so we're actually going to be landing in a random field and not at the Kerbal Space Center. I'm using the mod Atmosphere, atmosphere Autopilot to uh, do angle of attack hold at uh, 30 degrees. I also have uh, a Kerbal Engineer Redux uh, Thermal Readouts. And now, I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, during re-entry with this uh, space shuttle, the uh, truss at the back of the payload bay is the part that gets the hottest. 
it's completely shielded from the airstream and yet still somehow it uh, nearly melts. Yeah, it's a pretty a nominal re-entry. Gain some uh, nice uh, cinematic uh, views of the orbiter. And I'm not doing any maneuvers to uh, to uh, bleed off speed, because uh, if I did those, I'd probably end up in the uh, in the ocean. Yeah, I probably should have. Uh, oh, I definitely could have done my uh, deorbit burn at a better location, and actually landed at the Kurose Center. Also, this entire time I had the uh, manual for this. Uh, for this uh, space shuttle open in another window, I was uh, constantly uh, checking that. So I'm uh, keeping the angle of attack at 30 degrees. And now I'm starting to uh, pitch down and I've switched over to uh, the uh, flyby wire. And I'm now trying to find a uh, flat uh, looking uh, piece of land to uh, land on. Gain a view from the pilot. Fairly a standard glide back down. And I'm also trying to avoid any trees because they might have collisions. And well, it's definitely not the best landing. Yeah, I'm probably rough, but the entire craft is intact. And uh, since I don't have a, a drogue parachute, and I also landed on a, a downhill slope. It's gonna be a while before we slow down. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!